balance the following redox reaction in basic solution. And as you notice, I've underlined basic. Now, there's no easy way to say it. I want to show you every step so that you understand exactly what to do. So this will be a long video. If you want to stop it, forward fast it to get to each point, please feel free to do that. But I want to be able to show you each step so that if you have to do one on a test, you know how to do it. The first thing we have to do is we have to figure out where the oxidation and where the reduction takes place. So when you're doing that, you want to look at left to right. So I'm going to look at the chlorine for first. And on this side, the charge is a positive. And on this side, it is a negative. And then I'm going to look at the chromium. And on this side, it's a positive, And it's a positive over here. So I need to know which one is more positive. Well, it's a plus 3 on the left and a plus 6 on the right. So the one that is losing electrons, right, is oxidation is the loss of electrons. So if I'm losing electrons here, this is my oxidation. And here's where I'm gaining electrons, so I'm getting more negative. So this is my reduction. Or just remember, it's the number that goes down. So I need to write my half reactions. So I copy exactly what is on the page. So you're not adding, you don't have to look anything up. So let's do this first one. So I've got ClO minus AQ. And we said it was attached to just the Cl minus Aq. The other one is going to be the CrOH4 minus Aq going to the CrO4 2 minus Aq. Okay, that's step one. Now what's step two? Well, step two is we need to balance each one of those reactions. First thing we want to do is we want to balance anything that is not H or O. Well, in the first one, I've got one Cl and one Cl, I'm done. I've got one Cr and one Cr in the second, I'm done. So I, there's nothing that's not oxygen or hydrogen that isn't balanced. So the next thing I need to do, so this is kind of a combination for this one, is I want to balance the O. Now remember, when we balance oxygen, what do we add? Same thing we did in acidic, we're going to add H2O. So what does that look like? Well, in the first one, I have ClO minus AQ goes to Cl minus Aq. How many oxygens are on the left? One. So I need to add a water on the right. So plus H2O liquid. Now what about the chromium? Well, I had CrOH4 minus aqueous goes to CrO4 2 minus Aq. Well, how many oxygens are on the left? There's four. How many are on the right? Four. So that's balanced. They don't need to do anything. So what's the next step? The next step is to balance, you guessed it, hydrogen. So I want to balance hydrogen. Now when I balance hydrogen, how did I do that before? Well, I used H+. I'm going to do the same thing here again. So in the first one, I added two hydrogens on the right. So I'm going to have to add two hydrogens on the left. So I've got two H plus aqueous. And then I'm going to write what I had before. So plus ClO minus AQ yields Cl minus Aq, and then I had added the water already, so plus H2O. Now what about the second equation? What are we going to do with that one? Well, when I'm looking at that one, I notice that the hydrogens are on the left, so I'm going to have to add the H plus on the right. So I've got CrOH4 minus aqueous goes to CrO4 2 minus aqueous. Now, how many hydrogens are on the left? We have four, so I'm going to need to add 4H plus aqueous. So now what's the next step? Well, now I'm going to have to do some neutralizing. So I want to pause the video so we can start over with a clean slate. So as I mentioned, we want to neutralize the H plus with OH. 
Remember, that's just water if you put that together. Now, when I neutralize with the OH, if I put an OH on one side, I'm going to have to put it on the other side as well. So when I look at the first one, I have 2H plus. So that means I'm going to need to add 2OH minus. So when I have 2H plus AQ plus 2OH minus AQ, and then I still have what I originally had, which was the plus ClO minus aqueous goes to Cl minus aqueous. We have the water. And as I said, if you add the hydroxide to one side, now I'm going to have to add it to the other. So I had two of them, so I'm going to add 2OH minus aqueous. Now what about what happens on the next one? Well, I have 4H plus, so that means I've got to add four OH minuses on both sides. So why don't you try writing that out and come back and check your answer. So I've added the 4OH negative to each side. Now, what am I going to do? Well, here's the part where most people just think, you've got to be kidding me, is now that I've done that, like I told you, I want to show you everything. I'm actually going to put these together. So anywhere where I had the H plus and the OH, in this next step, I want to combine those to make water. So why don't you try that for each one of the reactions and then come back and check your answer. So I decided to call it five and a half just so we could kind of follow it. Wherever I had an H plus and an OH minus, I converted that into water. Same thing over here, I had four H plus, four OH minus, so I got four waters on the right. So what do I need to do in step six? I need to balance charge. So let's look at the first one. If I look at the first one, I have a negative on this side and it goes to a negative plus minus two. So this is gonna be a minus and this is gonna be a minus three. So how many electrons do I need to add and to which side? Well, if this is a minus three, to get minus three over here, I'd have to add two electrons. So now we need to look at it for the second reaction. So I'm just gonna kind of draw a jagged line just so we know what we're looking at. I've got minus four and a minus one, and that's gonna to go to a minus two. So I've got minus five, minus two. So how many electrons do I need to add to which side? If this is a minus five, I need to add three electrons to the right-hand side. So what I wanna do is I'm going to rewrite the equations with those electrons and then we'll continue on to step seven. So I've rewritten the two equations, including the electrons. Now remember, in our final equation, we can't have any electrons. So in step seven, what we want to do is we need to multiply one by the other. So remember, in order to get rid of the electrons, I've got two electrons here, and I've got three here, so I need to multiply them together, three times two. So that means the first equation I'm gonna to have to multiply through by three, and the second equation I'm gonna to have to multiply through by two. So I want you to do that and then come back and check your work. So when I multiplied by three for the first equation, here is what I obtained. And then for the second one, I multiplied through by two and this is what I obtained. So in step eight, what we want to do is we're going to add them together. Now, you can write everything if you want, but I'm going to just show what is canceled and then write the answer. Uh, that's a preference, it's whatever makes you happy. So we know that the six electrons will cancel, so that's gone. Now I notice over here I've got six waters, and over here I've got three and I've got eight. So let's see, let's take this six out, and let's change that to a two. And then I notice I've got eight OHs on the left, and I've got six on the right, so I'm gonna take all six out, and over here I'm gonna be left with two. So now what I wanna do is I'm going to add everything on the left-hand side of the arrow, and then everything on the right-hand side of the arrow. And when I do that, I get, let's see, 2OH minus AQ plus, it's a preference which order you write these in, so let's just do the 3CLO minus AQ plus 2CROH four minus AQ 
you know I'm going to run out of room, right? That's just the way it works when you do these. So on the right-hand side, what do I have? Well, I've got, I'm just going to write on the next line so that you can read it, 3CL minus AQ, and then I've got the 2CRO4 2 minus, which I left off an AQ, I see, so I'll add it back in there. And then 3 plus 2 is 5, so plus 5 H2O liquid. Now, how do you know for sure that's right? Well, you're going to, you want to check it. So you'll go back through, and we can just do that, because I said I was going to include everything. So I've got 2 oxygens plus 3, so I've got 2 plus 3 plus 4 times 2 is 8, so I've got 13 on this side, and over here I've got 8 plus 5, which is also 13. So my oxygens are balanced. I look at my hydrogens, I've got 2 plus 8 is 10, and over here I've got 10. The chlorines are balanced as well as the chromiums. So how you know then, that's how you figure out this is the final equation.